Okay, so now my uh, camera um, went out for uh, some apparent reason, but that's not going to stop the message. So I'll, this will be part two of what, what I started. So they're, they're providing uh, relevant and good information for us to consider. And as I hear certain information, then I see certain things I connect the dot to what good information that's been provided and I research it for myself so there's a movement on Facebook in different places uh, I created this charity I need you to don donate to it in of, a, of itself you know these are the people that you you know are possibly um, infiltrators coming in the name or the image of that person that you know that may not even be them but you think it's them and they provide these evil plots to pull you away from Yah. You know, like for instance, this charity movement. I created this charity. Uh, I would appreciate it if you give to it. But I submit, be careful what you're submitting to. Did a little research on this subject. You can look it up yourself. There's the uh, website down there at the bottom. If you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. There you go. I think it's a little better. Uh, it says charity by deity. Greek pantheon. I'm not going to read it all. I'm just going to read a smidget of it. Offering to gods and goddesses is an important part of ancient Greek religion. How can a naturalist honor this tradition? One possibility is to give to a, to a give to a charity related to a deity's symbolic or mythical concerns. This page complies charities relevant to deities. General correspondence is suggested. Charities are given for each deity, but these things uh, do not and cannot reflect the full range of nuance for each deity tradition. They only attempt to give starting points for research. Resources for evaluating charities include Charity Navigator and GiveWell. One potential resource for creating a, a schedule for offering is the he Hellenic Month established per Athens, HMEPA, which lists known historical feasts, festivals, and other culture, cultic days for the Athenian calendar extrapolated to current year. Then gives you a table of contents. Choose choose the deity of your choice. <laughs> Man, this is some crazy stuff. Some nonprofits are broadly applicable. Either their initiatives address a vast range of concerns, or the nature of their organization makes them in some way appropriate for nearly any deity. And that's a lot of deities they give them to. See they it's 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 deadly but subtle. And that's why Yah always had a problem with his people because they were always uh, giving homage and worshiping unto idols. This whole world's structure is offering up to their gods. That's why Yah says come out of her my people. Let you not suffer her sins, because Yah was sh is surely, surely had he he put on his calendar a date that he going for his visitation, and it ain't gonna be nice. So make sure that we are not in these things. Now I'm talking. Now I'm getting all these distractions. But they ain't gonna let it stop me. <laughs> Yeah, so 
I'm just sharing that. I try to share information that's, that's going to keep us under Yah's protection. And I, I would appreciate the good men and women uh, of the uh, of the faith and of YouTube to do the same. And you know, share your goodness, share your information that can guide us away out of this madness, so that we will not be held under the judgment of Yah when he when he does visit. And brings his day called the day of Yah. Okay, Shalom. Uh, truly do love you because that's why that's what motivates me to do what I do. Because I want us to all be well. Shalom.